scripture read at my wedding because I don't want him thinking he has power over me. But it's the same Greek word when it says that Jesus submitted to the will of the Father when he went to the cross to die for our sins. So the first word there is faithfulness. Submitting to one another and love. And there'll be times where you don't feel very faithful. But the Bible says if we are faithless, he remains faithful. And remember that. Faithfulness to one another. Faithfulness to your family. Faithfulness to the church, but most importantly, faithfulness to God Almighty. The next word is fun, okay? It's not a sin to have fun. The Bible calls that joy. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. As of today, let your past be your past. Have fun with it. Don't forget in the hustle and bustle of life to have fun. That's what today is all about. It's about having fun. It's about a celebration. The third word I want to release into your spirit is friendship. Genesis 2 verse 24, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined his wife and they shall become one flesh. Remember to be friends. The, the significance and the power that I believe is, is, is Eddie and Beth is the covenant you have as friends. Y'all love to hang out with one another. Don't ever forget that. Be friends above all. The fourth word, and this is a little bit more difficult of a word, is forgiveness. Matthew 6, verse 12, And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men of their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive yours. 
trespassing. Forgiveness is something that not only needs to occur in the future of your marriage, but for anyone that's ever hurt the two of you with their words or their actions or their deeds, I want you to forgive them before we go into the vows. Today, let all of that go. Embrace the new chapter that God has for you. And the final word for you is forever. This is for real, this is for good, and this is forever. This is still there. Do you part? There'll be times where you don't have those tingly feelings like we talked about in our office. You won't be as in love as you were that day in my office in a few years, but it's the commitment.